So today I uh, explain <coughs> some application of uh, the, uh, the combinatorics of uh, baskets to study the geometry of uh, um, q final threefold. So uh, first, uh, let me give the definition. So we say that uh, x is q final. A q final variety. Uh, if uh, x has a x as q factorial terminal singularity uh, and uh, uh, minus kx is uh, q ample uh, and the pick a number is one. So this is a standard concept in uh, at least uh, in the textbook of uh, Cola and Mori. And this is a well accepted notion. So uh, secondly, we call the X uh, a weak Q funnel. Uh, if uh, x is, of course, qft, and uh, minus kx is never and big. But without the uh, assumption on the pick a number. OK? So uh, roughly, uh, a weak Q funnel is uh, more general, but uh, already uh, the Q funnel variety already it forms a fundamental class in MMP, and uh, to study Q funnel varieties is a uh, yeah is a part of uh, Bayesian geometry, so yeah it's a fundamental class. So um, the the main problem. Um, in studies, this kind of varieties is, uh, yeah, from the classical point of view, uh, we can, yeah, we can say because, yeah, from the definition, you know that uh, given now today, I only uh, concentrate my uh, topic on Q final threefold. So, uh, so if X is a Q final. Are weak, weak, threefold. Okay, so uh, when M is large enough, from the definition, you know that this uh, this map, say minus M, K X. So this is uh, always birational. Okay, this is by definition. So therefore, uh, to find a practical, practical number, so so the the problem is to find uh, the practical uh, number. Say m, say. This is a constant C, uh, so that uh, phi minus m. So this is a birational for R m uh, larger than equal to C. 
Okay, so this is a, a interesting question. <coughs> like uh, yeah, the geometry of uh, varieties of general type. So, so this is first, and then secondly, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, even such a even the following problem is not uh, not known. So, uh, for example, Miles Reed has a conjecture, but that's uh, many years ago. Had the following conjecture. Okay, which says that uh, uh, that uh, p uh, minus one or yeah or weekly p minus two. So this is uh, always positive for almost or yeah this almost is but uh, finite finite except for finite number of this kind of uh, finite number of finite classes of uh, three four so uh, for almost or uh, say uh, Q final three fourths okay of course in general this is not true there are several examples which which satisfy P minus one so uh, there exists number of examples Yeah, there exists a number of examples with uh, p minus two equals zero. Okay. So the po the point is uh, how many? Yeah. So can you list uh, all the possibility? So uh, of course, uh, this is, these are main steering problems. So, but uh, first let me. Uh, explain to you uh, this problem is not uh, birational invariant it's not not quite birational geometry for example yeah so let me consider the following example yeah say example one so I consider two surface yeah so they're better surface There are only nine classes classes of uh, torpedo surfaces, smooth torpedo surface. Say, uh, I have uh, S1 and P2. Okay, these are two torpedo surfaces. So here, S1 is uh, obtained by blowing up eight points. points okay therefore uh, we know that k s1 so minus k s1 square is 1 okay but uh, this is a this is a dark feather surface so minus k s1 so this is ample okay but on the other hand we know that uh, on P2, uh, the minus KP2, of course, this is very ample. Okay, uh, minus KP2 squared, so this is 9. And uh, furthermore, we know that uh, this minus KP2, so this is uh, invading uh, give uh, give the invading but here since uh, uh, the volume is one so, so it cannot give 
so phi minus k s1 definitely is not birational. Of course, here uh, the p minus 1 is strictly smaller. So this is s1, it's strictly smaller than p minus 1 of p2. Okay, so uh, this means that this kind of problem is not birationally invariant because uh, these two surfaces, S1 is birational to P2, they are both Q funnel surface, but uh, the behavior as well as yeah, neither of the, yeah, my, the anti, anti plurigenous, they are not. Uh, they are not birationally invariant. So, uh, so this problem, uh, these problems are, yeah, yes, you, if, we, we, if we start this kind of problem, we cannot uh, yeah, freely choose its, its, its birational model. So this is quite different with the varieties of general type. Yeah, so when we, we study varieties of general type, so what we are concerned is uh, the property of uh, pluricanonical maps or the pluricanonical linear systems. All these are virationally invariant. Okay, so uh, <coughs> so this is uh, uh, the the problem and the the main difficulty. So now, uh, so in the first part, I want to to study the second problem, yeah, second problem. So this is a direct, um, direct uh, application of uh, our um, basket combinatorics. So, um, so let, let let me yeah first let me fix the notation. So here I always assume x to be a weak Q funnel. Threefold. Okay, so then um, uh, we know the, the the weighted basket weighted basket uh, usually we denote it by B of X. This is a triple by definition. The first one is. Uh, the basket of read, and then we should uh, have chi of uh, 2, okay, and uh, uh, finally chi of Ox, okay, but uh, in this case, uh, because it's a Q funnel threefold, so we know that chi Ox is 0, uh, is 1, so chi of Ox this is uh, uh, 1 minus h1 ox plus h2 minus h3 okay so you can always yeah you see that this is this can be always right uh, written as kx minus kx okay and the second part the minus kx is uh, naive and big so, uh, although x has terminal singularities, but this doesn't, uh, it's canonical, uh, as long as it's canonical singularity, one can use uh, Kawamata's vanishing. Yeah, Kawamata's vanishing says that you can use Ka Kawamata figure vanishing on variety with canonical singularities. So, so the, all these are zero. Okay, so it's one. Okay, so there's no need to put this thing here. So, so instead, I will write b x to be yeah, two elements. So one is b x, and another one is chi two. But uh, chi two means chi two o x. Ah, chi x of two k x, right? But uh, this is uh, um, 
Yeah, this is a <coughs> how to say this. Uh, this is dual to 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 chi. Uh, so this is dual to what? To this is minus one three uh, chi minus kx. Okay. Right. So this is a uh, uh, minus, but uh, since this is a uh, yeah, this is still the we can still use a vanishing. So chi minus k, chi minus k can write can be written as uh, so it's uh, sigma minus i. So h i kx minus 2kx, right? So this is never any big. So the higher cohomology all vanishes. So, so finally it's uh, minus p minus 1. Okay? So therefore, for, for funnel varieties, funnel threefolds, so our weighted basket can be written as p minus 1. Okay? So I will not, uh, I will not use this. Instead, I will use this. Yeah. So uh, slightly uh, re -re -re rewrite my, yeah, or or my formulas, which I explained the last lecture in last lectures. Uh, so all our formulas are, are be are yeah are expressed in terms of uh, the basket and uh, the anti genus. Okay, so uh, we have uh, yeah we we have. We have the canonical sequence. Two uh, sequence of of this uh, basket. Okay, so uh, in fact, this this one. Okay, we have, yeah. So so we have uh, the canonical sequence. Sequence. The first one is B naught, okay, and then B five, okay. So and here, uh, some very big number M. So this is equal to B of X, okay, and we know that. Uh, uh, we once we have this uh, sequence, then we know that uh, uh, the volume, the k, okay, the k cubed of b naught. So this is uh, larger than or equal to the k three of b x. So this is nothing but a minus k x cubed, right? Uh, uh, sorry, this is nothing but this. Uh, yes. Okay. <coughs> so uh, in our case, this is a, this is negative. Actually, we want to estimate this. So we know that uh, minus k cubed of B zero, so this is smaller than minus k x cubed. So this is a very important uh, invariant of the final final threefold. So uh, so f so in order to estimate the lower bound of the anti-canonical volume of x, so we can try to study what is. Uh, what yeah? What the initial basket of this is? So this is a 
first part. And uh, then we know that uh, the PM, okay, the second, the second, uh, the second uh, property is uh, P, uh, sorry, sorry, is chi of M of B zero. This is larger than the chi of M of this Bx. Okay, so this is uh, nothing but the chi m of x, okay, and which is by duality. This is minus, yeah, min this is uh, minus uh, p minus m of x, okay, and uh, this is, uh, yeah, okay, so we get, yeah, what we get is uh, minus chi of m p0. So this is smaller than or equal to uh, p minus ma minus m of x. Okay, so now you see uh, we want to estimate lower bound. Decrease Sorry? So chi 2 is uh, p minus 1, so it's p minus chi 2, two. yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, this is uh, chi m, yeah, minus one. Sorry, mm -hmm. uh, chi chi m x. So this is uh, p, yeah, minus. Okay, so yeah, so here it's p minus. Okay, so from this point of view, uh, to to know what uh, the initial basket is is very important. Okay, so this, so so our yeah so from the you you, you see that we want to estimate the lower bound of this, and uh, the first uh, question is related to the lower bound of the volume, yeah, of the volume. So this is a this is a positive number, right? So um, okay. So uh, yeah, we can do. We yeah, we can we can use our uh, basket consideration to to start this problem. So of course here, uh, yeah, I forget to say. So we want to find the lower bound of this. Yeah, some some constant v three. Dimension three, so this is uh, positive. Okay. <coughs> okay. So first, I want to give you an uh, example. Example two. So if we consider the general hypersurface, say uh, x66, uh, uh, yeah, uh, say uh, x66 in white project space, so 1, 5, 6, 22, 33. Yeah, so this is a funnel, yeah, funnel, a Q funnel threefold. So uh, here, uh, the volume, I mean, the, the minus kx66 cubed, so this is exactly 1 over 300. And uh, phi, yeah, phi minus m is birational for R m. Larger than or equal to thirty three, and uh, we we know that phi minus thirty two 
is not birational. Okay, so this is a, uh, so far we, yeah, the worst example we know. Uh, and, and this example implies that the constant C here yeah, should, should at least 30, 33. So what we can do, yeah, what we can do is, uh, yeah, so use our uh, formula. So last time I uh, introduced uh, the invariance of the basket. Let me let me recall that. Um, so the last time I I explained this uh, this. Yeah, p p minus two. Yeah, that's the chi chi three. How do I define chi three? Now in this case, we know that uh, p minus two is exactly five p minus one uh, plus sigma p p is p x uh, minus ten. Okay. Okay, so uh, this lemma says that, so the first lemma, lemma point one, so x is a weak Q funnel. Funnel threefold. And uh, um, assume uh, uh, p minus one, p minus two is a pair. Uh, p one, p two. Okay. Here, uh, p i is a non-negative integer for i equals to one and two. So then. We can see the number of the different basket bx. So this should be upper bounded by a function in terms of p1 and p2. <coughs> so this is a finite. Yeah, so this is a <coughs> So for f is a function, yeah, f in terms of p1 and p2. So that means uh, if you fix p1 and p2, then um, there are only finite possibility. So the proof is simple. So you have this, you have here. So that means uh, sigma p. So sigma p means uh, sigma p x. So. So by definition, this is uh, sigma sigma b i i from one to s. So what is uh, b i? So we should denote by b x to be this collection of b i r i i from one to s. Okay. So uh, from here, you know that this is uh, equal to uh, p2 minus 5p1 plus 10. OK, so suppose p1 and p2 are fixed, then sigma is fixed. But this uh, doesn't uh, say this is finite, but we have another inequality. So another inequality is uh, the, yeah, so this is uh, due to uh, Cola Mori, yeah, Cola uh, Mori uh, 
and layers. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Takaji and uh, Miyoka, sorry. Uh, Kola, Miyoka, Mori, and Takaji. Okay, so their result says that uh, uh, C2 is uh, C2 and uh, minus kx, this is uh, positive. This, this is non negative. Yeah, so what they say is uh, minus kx and C2 of x. So this is a very important, very important uh, inequality. So you don't you, you don't know whether C two is uh, pseudo effective or not. But when you take the intersection with minus k x is non negative. Uh, so this is enough. And then uh, read using Reed's formula. Reed the formula of Reed says that one can calculate k x and C two using the basket. So. Reed says this formula tells you uh, some yeah some inequality in terms of in terms of the uh, singularity. Say we call this gamma of B. So this is uh, sigma one over R i minus sigma R i. So I from one to S. Okay, so plus twenty-four. This is this is non-negative. Okay, so from here you know that uh, the number of singularities. Uh, yeah, this already mean. So if you, yeah, uh, this is a sigma. And this is uh, this number, yeah. So you know that um, s sigma r i one to s. So this is uh, smaller than sigma one over r i. Yeah, i one to s plus twenty four. Okay. But uh, you know that R i is at least two, so this is smaller than one and a half, and the sigma that is a number of singularity. Number of singularities plus twenty four, but the number of singularities is less is is is. Is less than sigma because uh, B i is uh, yeah. So this is uh, smaller than sigma over two plus twenty four. Okay, so this is uh, yeah more or less this is uh, you know this is bounded. Since this is bounded, uh, possibility are finite. Okay, so as a corollary. So if uh, so, the corollary is uh, so given x either uh, p minus two is positive uh, or uh, p minus two is zero and p minus one is zero. Therefore, you have a finite number of things. Yeah. Therefore, so therefore we can classify. Yeah. So in the in the later case, yeah, in the later case, the b of x uh, can be classified. Okay. So this can be classified. So actually, we can list. So make a complete list to uh, p minus two equals p minus one equals zero. So this uh, several not, um, about twenty classes. So we can list one by one. And uh, once you know the the basket very well, then you know all the invariants. Say minus k 
cubed p minus 1 to p minus e, yeah, anything you can calculate. So therefore, more or less, uh, yeah, from our point of view, uh, the, the, the last two questions are, yeah, are easily handled if we can yeah, use this argument. So, uh, so let me write down the result. The result is uh, yeah, very, yeah, the, re the result is, uh, is uh, interesting. So this is, uh, uh, say, theorem A. Theorem A says that uh, uh, assume uh, x is here. I don't. Uh, I don't necessarily assume x to be q final. So usually everything is working on weak q final. So uh, assume that x is. Uh, uh, weak Q final three four. Okay, then we have the following result. First, uh, so yeah, because here we have exception. So the smallest number so that p minus m is positive it's, uh, for all q final surface is, is 6 so we have p minus 6 positive and p minus 8 is at least 1 and also and furthermore actually we, we, we can prove that there exists some number m not smaller than no, 8. So that uh, P minus M naught is greater than 1. So this is the first, uh, so this answers the question there. And uh, uh, yeah, since we, we can list all the possibility for P minus 2 equals 0, there, therefore uh, the problem of read yeah, is, uh, yeah, theoretically it's solved. <coughs> Okay, so this is first first result. And second result is uh, we know that the anti-volume minus kx cubed is 1 over 330. So this is an uh, optimal result due to this example. Okay, because we know this example. So now we can prove this. So this is an uh, optimal. So this is an optimal lower bound. So, uh, so more or less, we can say that uh, if we, if you want to estimate the lower bound of uh, antipolar genus, it's uh, now it's easy to do. Yeah. Uh, the main problem is uh, we know that uh, the Q funnel, Q funnel surface, weak Q funnel surface are bounded family. This is a bounded family. Bounded family means uh, not only it has a lower bound, but also it has a the upper bound. Okay, so but so far our method is not uh, effective in treating upper bounds. So the, in treating upper bounds, of course, uh, theoretically it's okay, but uh, yeah, the main problem is. Uh, yeah, we we cannot control the actual actual yeah upper limitness upper boundedness. Uh, for example, we know that uh, we can yeah we have B not yeah this is uh, B X okay. Uh, so yeah, we want to estimate the lower bound. We need we need this uh, initial basket. If we need upper bounds, we need uh, the minimal minimal basket. Okay, but uh, for for us, we don't know. Yeah, the main point is we don't know whether p minus two. So what is the upper bound of p minus two? Okay, if you know the upper bound of p minus p minus two, p minus two then we can list all the possibility. But uh, the point is, uh, yeah, so 
what is uh, this? Yeah, so can, can P minus 2 very large? So this, we need other, uh, other property to, to study this. So the, the problem, the yeah, open problem. Yes, to uh, find upper bounds of minus kx cubed. So this is a very interesting problem. But so far we know that uh, uh, so the null result is uh, when uh, x is Goran's time. So this is uh, uh, this is solved, yeah. This is okay uh, due to uh, Prokhorov. Prokhorov. Uh, but in general, uh, it's open. Yeah, we only know this case. What's the bound? The uh, bound is uh, it can. Okay. Uh, uh, Gorenstein and uh, and Q final case. Uh, so that means the pick a number is one. Then it's uh, some number and uh, it's optimal. But uh, in general, for weak Q final, even for even yeah, even it's Gorenstein, but uh, without the pick a number one assumption, I think this is still open. Some people are still. Yeah, studying this kind of question. Yeah, so I I think we y you need some uh, deformation class. Yeah, it's a uh, it's uh, another kind of story. So with this method, it's not enough. Okay, so uh, this is roughly the for the first yeah for this uh, this kind of question. So now let me. Uh, focus on the problem of the birationality. So this is a, a even more interesting. <coughs> so the part two are the last lecture. Yeah I I yeah begin to study the birationality. So this is a yeah, this is a result uh, after many years. Yeah, so this is a very new result. So I would like uh, to put this for so, uh, lecture four. Uh, the birationality. Uh. Minus m for weak Q funnel or Q funnel. Okay, so uh, so this is a so this is a new result. The main point is we yeah we have we have to overcome uh, a couple of uh, technical difficulty. So yeah, only until this year I'm yeah with my. Yeah, collaborator. We yeah we are able to uh, solve this problem. So so what is the uh, the main step in study birational birationality? So I always assume that X is a weak Q funnel. Weak Q funnel three four. Okay. So uh, l let me write down the the main main theorem. The main theorem is the following. Yeah. So the, the theorem is the following. So let me call the theorem B. So this is a joint work with uh, chain. Yeah, in, in the University of Tokyo, he is currently a, 
PhD student of Kawamata. Uh, so the theorem says that uh, first, uh, if uh, x is uh, Q-funnel, Q-funnel means uh, yeah, strong th stronger than weak Q-funnel. It means the pk number is one. Then we can show that phi minus m is birational. For m larger than equal to thirty-nine, so we know that we have an example with uh, thirty-three, right? So this is what we, yeah, the best we can we can do so far. But we don't know whether this is optimal or not. Secondly, if x is weak, q funnel. Funnel. Uh, then phi minus m is birational for r m larger than equal to 97. So, uh, so this is a, a weak result, but uh, so far this is uh, whatever we can do. Yeah. So the rest of time, I explain the the main yeah the main method of our proof. So this is a uh, quite technical and um, so here yeah. Vibrational for all m or for all m for all m for all m. For example, if you can prove mm -hmm. the m is birational for 39, then is it automatic? No, 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 it's not automatic. No. Yeah, how to prove. Yeah, but the method, the nature of the method, yeah, tell us. Yeah, we can. But uh, you said there is one example, 33 is not birational. 32 is not birational. But yeah. that example, after 33, then everything is birational? Yes. Yeah. Because in that uh, that example, p minus one is uh, is positive. So if uh, thirty three is yeah is okay, then when m is larger, then it's also okay. So the the method is uh, so there are the main method is uh, composed of the following steps. The main steps. Steps. So the first step is to uh, re reduce reduction to a certain smooth model. Want to st uh, reduce to uh, certain smooth models, and second one. We want to to find uh, m not so that p minus m not is at least two. Okay, so this is okay due to last lecture. Okay, the part one. In part one, we what we were doing is yeah how to estimate this to make. Yeah, in this case we can take m not at worst eight. Okay, so this is uh, solved. The third step is to find um, m one. Of course, this is positive, so that um, uh, this is uh, not a pencil. That means the phi of minus one x. You take the image and you take the closure in the Im in the in the target space. So this dimension should be at least one, should be greater than one. Or we can say that uh, minus m one of k x is not a pencil.
Okay. And then uh, the last step is uh, the yeah the main by rationality principle. Yeah. So uh, these are four main steps. So uh, now let me explain because there's only the second step we can speak. Uh, we can skip because uh, this is uh, solved. So we can take m not smaller than eight. Okay. So uh, the first step. Uh, how can we do this? So step one. So we can uh, find a smooth model. Yeah, we can find a smooth model. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. So uh, if uh, pi from y to x is a birational birational modification. So that um, uh, y is projective smooth, projective and non singular. Okay, uh, then for, en for any, any positive number m. Uh, we can so this is a uh, easy uh, easier because uh, uh, yeah then for any m positive integer um, so phi you consider k y plus so this is a uh, uh, m plus one you take uh, the pi upper star of minus k x. Usually this is a Q divisor because this is a Q funnel, weak Q funnel. So we have to take a roundup. So this is birational if and only if phi minus m is birational. Okay, the reason is uh, this is uh, yeah. So this is a easy uh, easy yeah. This is a some lemma yeah, some lemma in which is in Bayesian geometry because uh, x has a uh, canonical singularity because x has terminal singularities and uh, yeah by a simple lemma. But uh, the first one who can who who, who, who wrote, wrote down this uh, kind of theory is, uh, should be Nakayama. Yeah, we, we, we cite, cite his papers. Yeah. So uh, anyway, this is uh, not, not uh, yeah. the main point is uh, we know that yeah, the main point is we can show that the H naught of Y, KY plus Roundup of m plus one pi up star of k x. The dimension of this group is exactly and this is p minus m. Okay. So roughly, these linear systems are uh, are equivalent. Equivalent. On downstairs is minus m k x. Upstairs, yeah, we can study this. 
Okay, so this is a uh, yeah, roughly roughly one can see that the yeah so the linear system ky plus roundup of m plus one pi up star minus kx. So this is uh, roughly the roundup of m minus kx. Okay, and this is uh, roughly equivalent to minus m kx. Okay. So the difference is only lies in the exception. Yes. The yes. Yes. So uh, yeah, I I skip this because this is uh, this was done many years ago. Yeah, and it's uh, in in the, in the paper. Okay. So I will skip explain this. If you want to, if you want to know uh, where, why this is, just uh, check the uh, small lemma. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So now. Let me explain on the step, say step four, and then I return to step three. Okay, so once we we do once we have yeah once we have uh, this, then we can do everything on the smooth smooth threefold, and uh, this kind of this kind of linear system is look uh, looks like a symptotic a joint linear system so this is a yeah this has a has a very good uh, induct inductive uh, inductive property so in which uh, which means uh, that you know that this uh, yeah on on the smooth model y we yeah, we have ky plus m plus 1 pi up star minus kx. So this linear system is uh, more or less greater than or equal to ky plus. Uh, I have m naught here. So uh, so let, let me write down this. So this is m plus 1 minus m naught minus m1 pi up star k. Uh, sorry, so this space is not enough. So, so we know that this, is, this linear system is larger than the following one, ky. So this is m plus 1 minus m naught minus m1 pi up star minus kx plus so I write uh, m minus m1 and plus m minus m naught okay so what is uh, capital M to minus m1. Say, sorry, this say m1. This is m naught. What is m1? So m1 is the moving part. Yeah, m1 is the moving part of uh, m1 up star minus kx take the round up and okay so what is m not so m not is a moving part of m not upper star minus kx okay so according to according to my assumption so this is a uh, moving M naught is moving because uh, H naught of M naught this is this two 
And what about M1? So M1 is not a pencil. M1 is not a pencil. Therefore, you see that when you study M1, you restrict to a general member on M0. So this is moving, still moving. OK? The strate strategy is, the, is, is this. So in order to prove that the upper linear system gives a birational map, so it's enough to, to, to show this for the smaller linear system. So okay. That uh, M1 is, should be pi, M0, and that is pi. But then uh, mm. M1 is outside of pi star or inside of pi? M1. Yeah, there is the M1 star, is, I think, should be the pi star. And then, uh, oh, sorry, M1 uh, pi M1 star. M1 pi yeah. star. Sorry, yes, it's uh, M1 pi up star. Yeah, of course. So M1 yeah. is the. Yeah. Okay. So then, yeah, we, uh, I were, yeah, I were very, yeah, carefully uh, show you. Uh, we want to use the vanishing theorem to, to restrict everything to the general hypersurface on M naught, and then we go on, yeah, because this is moving. So finally, we restrict everything onto a surface. And finally, we yeah we study the asymptotic because this is an F and big yeah asymptotic uh, adjoint linear system on surface, and finally we can do this yeah. So this is a uh, yeah this is what we uh, we can do for also for general type three fourths because the main point is this kind of the nature of this kind of. So linear system has a very good uh, inductive inductive property. Uh, so the difficulty is, so even you have this. So uh, I will show you how to estimate uh, degree. So, so some Q divide on some surface. So, so yeah, what's how to cal calculate the degree? Uh, another point is, uh, so in order to find M one, so that uh, this is a, this is not a pencil. This is a very yeah very key uh, difficulty in this in this paper. Okay, so I hope uh, in next uh, in next lecture I explain all the details. Okay.